Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Yolanda Melody and I'm an independent music artist from the UK. Today I want to talk about my shopping addiction or my previous shopping addiction. So before all this lockdown business, I was insanely addicted to online shopping. My ultimate favourite pastime was sitting in my bed with a top knot bun, scrolling mindlessly for hours and hours and hours, picking clothes that I'll probably never wear. No one will probably ever see them, but it didn't matter, I just needed the clothes. I could probably say that over the years I have accumulated enough clothing to last me a lifetime, but you know how it is. You get an invite somewhere and you think, oh yeah, yeah, I've got an abundance of things to pick from. And I would just go into my wardrobe and I don't know how it happens, but what I would end up with is it just looked like a bomb had gone off in my room. I would have tried about 20 different tops, all of my jeans, all of my skirts, then decided that I wanted to wear a dress, then decided that I hated all of my dresses. And it would get to the point where I was like, you know what? I'm not going out. And this has been a reoccurring pattern that has literally gone on for years with me. I don't know how it happens. Maybe I'm picking stuff that's a bit too out there and then I'm getting invited to more formal events. Like I've got plenty of shorts that have got rips on the booty. I've got tops that barely qualify as tops. And then I'm invited out to like a work meeting or, or it's actually too cold outside to wear next to nothing. I don't know. Most of the time I never actually had anywhere to go. I just used to take pictures of me in the clothing and then post it on Instagram. And when you think about how much I used to spend on shopping, it really wasn't a valid reason. I just couldn't justify it. Now the situation has completely changed. I think that the majority of people are only caring about food and things that are essential. Things that you need to keep alive, you know. What's strange is that the economy seems to be collapsing at the moment, but the clothing websites that I normally look at are operating completely normal. I'm not gonna name any names because if this whole thing just sorts itself out, I'd like to think that one day I will get a brand deal and I'll be doing shopping hauls, I'll have a discount code, and life will just be roses and butterflies and cute cuddly toys. But I would like to announce that as of today, I have not shopped for two months. I'm so proud of myself. And you know what else is great? I have saved so much money and that makes me feel a bit more secure in this time. I'm ready to explore the world of minimalism and being able to just put on anything and go straight out the door. Well, not out the door because you're not actually allowed to do that, but I digress. During this whole thing, I keep asking the question, when are these clothing companies gonna stop? Are they gonna stop? Does anyone really want a bikini right now? Does anyone want a dress to go to prom? Does prom even exist? Will we ever be going to clubs ever again? Or bars or restaurants? I really don't think it's essential right now for them to be still operating as normal, but I understand that they've got to make money. So anyway, I went and did some research and I'm, again, not gonna name any names. The clothing companies in question are actually my favorite clothing companies, so I really, really don't want them to hate me, but I have been reading articles about the way that the people in the warehouses are being treated right now, and uh, it's disgusting. There's a lot of negative press right now about what's actually going on in these warehouses, and of course, the chief executives are always gonna argue their point that they're following the guidelines of the government and everything, but from my experience working in a normal job as a normal human, you can't always follow the guidelines that the government are actually trying to implement. I feel like it's a bit of an ideology. So yeah, that's kind of put me off teamed with the fact that there's not really any point in buying clothes at the moment, other than for my YouTube channel, but all I really need to do is wear a top. I'm still wearing the same joggers every single episode, so what, they're comfy. What I think is a really good idea is if these clothing companies came out with some personal protective equipment, you could have like cute quarantine suits. I would totally buy that. There could be like a drawstring, snatch it at the waist. You know what, I might just do some designs post them online with the date. I remember a few months ago, I had written down in my diary 52 video ideas and at least 20 of them were hauls. And I'm a bit annoyed now because it's not really fair to do a haul right now. Why do you want to see all the clothes that I have and be like, yeah, yeah, you can uh, <laughs> not buy this. How are they shipping at the moment? I'm gonna wrap this up.
in a nutshell, I am beating my shopping addiction. I'm loving it. If I need a new dress, I'll probably cut up my curtains because that way I know that I will receive the item because I made it myself. I know where it's come from and no one's gonna see me anyway because these four walls are my existence now. Okay guys, this is future me speaking. Um, I know I was talking about my addictive shopping habits, but let me just show you right now some stuff that I went out and bought. And I'm telling you, the excitement that it's brought me is just... Let me just show you. So this is my shopping haul. I have bought myself some very important things. One being an extension lead, very, very essential. The next is some pledge so that I can get all my cleaning done, wiping down surfaces. You can't tell me that this was not essential, but for the final part, drum roll please, let me show you what's in here. Can't open it. These boots are absolutely amazing. Look at them. They are just beautiful. Look at the shape they give my legs. I feel like a farmer. So this is hypocrisy at its best. Uh, whether or not I'll stick with this whole minimalism thing, uh, only time will tell. I just get so excited when I buy clothes. The thing is, I think that we'll probably have a zombie apocalypse in the next few months anyway. So I could really, really see myself wearing these every day and you know, um, that's the excuse that I'm telling myself anyway, so. Thank you for watching the video. Comment down below if you would like to see more, if you have some ideas for me, because I really wanna put out content that you guys actually wanna see. If you like, subscribe, comment, and hit the notification bell, that really helps me. I am a small creator trying to take over the world. My username is Yolanda Melody. It's up here or there. I don't know. I struggle with left and right as it is, so. Love you, bye.